Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 158. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now, let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here at Fujimi Kaido Class S Series. We're obviously going to be driving up the mountains. Uh, and I have chosen to take the Lamborghini Miura concept because I think that car is... Neato. So we've got four stages to do. Let's get cracking. At least the swelling's going down. For my tooth. It, my mouth was like this the other day. Huge. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Holy fuck, this thing's quick. But I have just re realized I'm against a McLaren F1. But this thing's got the handling, so I think that's actually quite good. Uh, yeah, I don't like the fact that I'm against the McLaren F1. Maybe I need to buy a McLaren F1. Who knows? Um, yeah, so... Jim Ryan. I, I, I don't have a good opinion of him, to be fair. I, I think Sony at the moment... Um, are just a bunch of kids that have had a hissy fit. Um, the sole reason why the FTC denied Microsoft's acquisition is because Sony was like, we're not going to have Call of Duty no more. The problem is they also denied a 10-year contract to keep Call of Duty on Sony consoles. So, again, I'm really conf confused. And the problem is, right, the fact is somebody needs to buy out Activision because Activision has gone downhill big time. And to keep that company going and to keep it running... Somebody needs to buy it. Sony wouldn't step up to buy it. They also wouldn't step up to buy Sega. They w aren't stepping up to buy anything. It would benefit a lot. One thing I would like to see, and I think would very much help... Um, what's it called? It would help... Uh, Steam, and it would help other plat platforms. Yeah, I'd, if I had the money, I would step up and buy it. The problem is Sony and Microsoft both have the money to buy Activision easily. Um. Oh shit! The problem that I have is what was I saying? Yeah, somebody needs to buy it. And if someone's not going to buy it, Call of Duty is just going to turn to shit. I, I would like to see Xbox Game Pass come onto PC. And I think if they made a Game Pass, same price, maybe it has a slightly different list of games, even if it was only Xbox's games. At least if they had a subscription on Steam, it would show that they're actively trying to support developers on other platforms. And I think the problem is that we've obviously got Xbox Game Pass on PC with only the Microsoft Store. The Microsoft Store is dog shit, unfortunately. It doesn't work. So they need to find an alternative or make it. Yeah, Xbox Game Pass on Steam is such a good idea. Ubisoft Plus on Steam. Add the subscriptions on other platforms where your games are sold. And it gives you a whole new revenue source. 
Like, the thing is, I don't play FIFA. I don't play many EA games. But the only two that I'm going to play is WRC, once that comes out, and F1. And maybe the occasional EA game here and there. But the fact is, because I buy EA Play, I'm more tempted to buy the actual games. Because of the fact that I'll own them on day one. And then I also get a discount to own them. Because basically, what happens when you buy a game on EA Play? If you've got EA Play, you keep the game forever on Steam, even when it's delisted. Which isn't the case on Xbox. Once a game gets delisted, it's gone forever. Um, on Steam, the game stays on your subscription, even if it's delisted. So F1 2020, I can't buy, but because I had EA Play when the game was on it, and I added it to my library, it's not going to disappear. Um, again, that might change at some point, but it, it doesn't disappear. That would be a great idea, though, to have that sort of thing for Xbox. Because all, all EA Play and buying games is, it's just like a six-month early access. Oh, look, here, here's an early access for six months. You pay us 50 quid, you get it six months early. Yeah. Add them all to the library. If they get delisted, they're still there. It doesn't matter. But X Xbox Game Pass would be a, a brilliant, brilliant addition to it. Because developers could then go... Even if Xbox didn't do a Game Pass and Steam did a subscription and you got a few games a month, I, I would be very much happy if Steam added AAA titles that were less than a year old to a subscription that cost no eight ninety nine a month something like that obviously they'd have to give some additional features they wouldn't just be able to offer the games like some additional steam features and whatnot that didn't change the core experience of steam that's there at the moment but just some additional bonuses or something like that Again, that would be a great feature for these platforms to add. Because some people can't afford to spend 50 quid on a game every month. Or every time they want to buy a game. To be fair, I, I can't either, but I still do it anyways. I, I kid you not, I spent so much money. Unreal. I got a nice delivery coming soon. I've got uh, two tubs of that sneak stuff. I bought Neon Punch, right? Which is, it's tropical with apple, kiwi, and pear. Uh, the, the only thing is I've bought an entire tub and I've never actually tried it before. So I may have fucked up. Um, and the other flavour that I got is Grape Crush. That one I have tried, and that was really nice. So, I'm looking forward to that getting delivered, because then I'll have a nice variety of different things, rather than just one flavour. But yeah, I, I think I'll be getting... Mark Goldbridge, what's that? Holy fuck. 
that didn't go well at the end. Damn. Bam, 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 bam. People that rage in video games confuse the hell out of me. Uh, this is on native hardware, as you can see. Native. Well, actually, I don't know. Does uh, Xenia emulator have the Xbox OS? Or is it just the game like uh, RPCS3? I've never actually tried Xenia, but yeah, this is native hardware, so... Um, obviously, the plan for this series, back when I started the series about a year ago now, um, is definitely not the original FPS. looks way smoother. The original FPS is 60 FPS in this game. On original hardware. Not modified or anything. That's what's surprising about this game. This game is smooth. It is really smooth. Yeah. This game's in 60. Um, Motorsport 1 is in 25. Because it's half 50. So it, it's really stuttery when you play Motorsport 1. But Motorsport 2 is 60, but suffered a lot from frame drops. And then 3 and 4 were smooth, stable 60. A really impressive. Because the Xbox 360 was quite an underpowered system compared to like the PS3. And it pulled it off big time. But, uh... Yeah, the, the plan for this series is the first four games are all played on native hardware, uh, Xbox 360. The middle four games, which would be Horizon 1, Horizon 2, Motorsport 5, and Motorsport 6, they're all played on the Xbox One. Uh, I can't say native hardware because technically it would be Xbox 360 emulator that's on Xbox One for Horizon. But the game looks better than the original on... 360, so why wouldn't I? Uh, and then the last four, by the time it comes to it, would be five games. They're all going to be played on PC. So. Uh, Kodo actually got a modded Xbox One. Uh, Xbox 360. It looks pretty cool, but... YouTube is great for live streaming as well. I love creating chapters afterwards. Yeah, obviously I... I will be editing all the videos into individual episodes so that they're a lot better for viewing than just a straight-up live stream. So that people that want to watch just a walkthrough of all the all the races that I've done in this series, then they just get the races. So I'm going to be editing it anyways. But in terms of like, if you're a streamer that just streams and doesn't have a lot of time for like editing and whatnot. YouTube is perfect. Oh shit, I was looking at chat. Oh, that was a bad idea. Crap, now I've got to try and overtake this guy again. Get out the way! Yo. British Rhino GT4. Do I, I, I will have a little bit of admission. Uh, I used to use Rhino GT4's videos as a reference for structure. Because otherwise I'd go in and I'd have absolutely no structure and my videos were fucking terrible. <laughs> if you look at my first Horizon 4 video, um, that had zero structure. And it was dreadful. And I sort of would look... Most of my previous live streams have chapters, I love it. On YouTube. Yeah, exactly. It's such a good, good feature. I uh, modded my PS3 and it's super worth it. I'm scared to mod systems because of the fact that I know if it goes wrong, it fucks it up. I'd much rather emulate if I need to do that kind of thing. Because my, my 360, I, it's a powerhouse. It's done so well. It's lasted ages. I'm hoping to keep it. It needs to last the rest of this Motorsport 3 playthrough and Motorsport 4. After that, if it goes bang, it goes bang. I don't care. But... Hey, no worries, Crude. 
Appreciate it, man. Have you seen Crude, by the way? Uh, if you haven't got Crude 2 on PC yet, if you've got it only on console, it's £4.19 in the Steam Summer Sale. It's an absolute bargain. And if you've already got it, then it doesn't really matter. But yeah, the Crew 2 is on sale for £4.19 on Steam. It's unreal. Absolute bargain. Latest crew. Speak to you later. Ah, so you're buying another three. Fair enough. The one thing that terrifies me with video game, like retro gaming and video game emulation, when you look at, um, because <laughs> I don't trust myself, yeah, I don't trust myself either. The one time I have modded, I modded a PS Vita, I got it fucking locked. The system's locked. Um, and I have signed into my uh, PSN account with it. So I, I'm deliberately not turning it on and I'm never going to turn it on again. Just in case it then decides, right, well you're banned from PSN and I'm losing my PSN. I would cry. It would be very sad. YouTube keeps popping up this notification saying, Suggestion, the stream's current bitrate is higher than average. Or higher than recommended. And I'm like, I don't care. Please. Disappear. I don't care. I'm keeping it this way. Been real. It's been too real. Been at the dancing. Da, 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 dancing. Da, 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 dancing. Do you know, this reminds me of um, I can't remember who it is uh, fucking hell there's an artist that makes similar alright here we go let's go lads it's time to drive but yeah if you guys don't know we have multiple brand new tiers uh, on the channel memberships We've got six tiers to choose from, ranging from uh, 99 Great British Pence all the way up to like huge numbers. But uh, there's all sorts of different exclusive perks if you would like to take a look at them. If you press the join button, it will show you all the different options. Also, thinking of modding my 3DS because fuck Nintendo. I'm not a fan of Nintendo either, to be honest. Um, but I, the problem is I don't have a Nintendo system, so I don't experience the anti consumerness of Nintendo. Um, I will say, though, I am not a fan of their legal department. I think their legal department is very, very, very naughty. I think there are a bunch of dicks. Nintendo as a company? Yeah, fair play. They do some alright systems and whatnot. They make some cool games and whatnot. But their legal department can go in the bin. Nintendo lawyers are horrible people. Like, they have no morals, they have nothing. They are just like, this is ours, go away. This is ours, go away. This is ours, go away. The fact is why well they shut down the dolphin emulator. Oh shit, 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 that was... That was close. 
Wow. <laughs> that was close. Pirate their games because we can't buy them legitimately even if we want. Exactly. Like, obviously I'm not one to say, like, go and pirate games. I, I think it's a bad idea. Both legally and morally. Like, it fucks over game developers. But, um, when it comes to games that you just can't get anymore. You can't buy them. The systems are expensive and whatnot. And you just want to enjoy an old school video game. Nostalgia, whatever. How else are you supposed to do it without piracy? You can't. You're left with no option. And these game studios, these developers and hardware makers and whatnot, they're so in their own little bubble. I'm 99% sure that people that make video games, like a majority of video game designers, makers and whatnot, they don't actually play video games. I think half of them don't play video games or have any input with being a video game consumer. Jim Ryan, I am 99% sure he's too old to have ever played a video game in his life. Let's be real. He's probably someone they found on LinkedIn and was like, he looks good, let's hire him, and then he's just works his way up to the top. Like, there's no way in hell that he worked video games or plays video games. He's probably just watched the God of Ra God of War Ragnarok trailer. Gone. Hmm, that's a good game. Let's talk a lot about it. Talks a lot about it, and then has never actually played it. I, I will agree, God of War Ragnarok is a good game, but he probably knows nothing about that game. It just seems that they're really detached from what gamers actually want. AKA the Pokemon games, etc. Those are expect. Yeah, Pokemon as well. Shit. Uh. Okay, I really gotta try now. Come on. Oh, I forgot to shift up. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay, I will admit that was closer than I would like. Uh, I would like to not be that close again. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, wow. But yeah, I, I think game companies need to have a better grasp on reality because I can tell you right now, what they think we want is not what we want. Who got the beat this time? Who got the beat beat and tell it, tell it. Keep it hundred. What you gonna show me, fam? What you gonna show me, bro? Ain't that? I tell your bitch to get off my shit, smoking on that home ground. What a tune. Yeah, a, a lot of Nintendo games are actually like that. They own all the property in the games. Like, a lot of it. A lot of Nintendo games are all, like, Nintendo's own projects. Which I, I think is pretty cool from Nintendo. When you look at a lot of Sony games and a lot of Microsoft games, they have a, quite a few assets that aren't their own makings. Or they rely on items that are made from other people, for example. Like, for example, Call of Duty, even though they have a lot of composed music, they have soundtracks, they've got um, a lot of guns that obviously someone else has designed, someone else has made those, and they've just modelled them. I I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but the fact that Nintendo, a lot of their stuff, if they've got, like, Splatoon, for example, they're all custom-made assets. Everything in their Nintendo games, custom design. They are made specifically for their own games. And that's impressive. And I've got to give Nintendo credit for that. Because it is impressive. But at the same time, they're just such a shit company. To the people that actually pay them. 
And what's even worse is the fans of Nintendo, right? Fans of Nintendo games don't get involved in console wars. They're not like, oh, this console's terrible, this console's amazing. This... They don't get involved in console wars, but what they do get involved in... A lot of Nintendo fans just go, well, I, I, I don't like the company, but here's my money. Here's my money. Here's my... And they'll still buy Nintendo games. Like, it baffles me. Baffles me. But, I mean, you do what you, you want to do with your money. I got. I, I can't say anything. But you're a hypocrite. <laughs> the only thing is, when I wear the hat, I've got no noise cancelling, which means I can hear my voice really loud through the headphones, and then it's like weird. And... Oh well. I got headphones on and a hat on. I look sick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not paying a grand to get the Pokemon games. I wouldn't pay... To be fair, I wouldn't pay 20 quid for a Pokemon game. It doesn't look that interesting to me. But I know there are people that are, like, really into that kind of stuff, so... Fair play. If you're into it, you're into it. I'm not, but... Yeah, it's just physically not possible. Do you know the one thing that always confused me is the fact that Pokemon, right, had has two individual games for each game or something like that. Like you get Pokemon Black and White, for example. They had those, didn't they? They had like a black game and a white game. That's the only one that I remember. But they were like two separate yeah they're the same game but they've got different stuff in it different missions or whatnot but like why are they separate titles why didn't they just you know make different modes in the actual game i know exactly why it's to rip as much money out of the people that buy it but Yeah. That's one thing that also bugs me is when communities make or like developers make confusing as hell um like things. Like let's let's be real. If you make your game complicated deliberately so that you have to have a wiki page dedicated to your game your game's not very accessible, it's not enjoyable, it's shit. Like, if I have to go to a wiki page to understand what the hell anything in a game is supposed to do, it's too complicated. Like, I'm not saying I have a small brain, but I have a small brain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is one of the best drum introductions for any song, by the way. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. 
That Mitsubishi's catching up big time. Ooh, get out of the way. Oh, you fuck. No. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that was too close. Oh, I had a heart attack. Damn. That was crazy close. Three hours and 14 minutes in to the stream. We've got another... I can't do numbers. 13 hours. 12 hours in a bit. 12 and a bit hours. Which means it's getting close to 2 o'clock. Right? Oh my god. No way. That's insane. But it's a lifesaver. 100%. My link is in my description. Check it out. <laughs> Cheers for uh, helping me with that advertisement there. <laughs> there they are. They're pretty cheap. WRC 4 and 5 from Milestone are not on sale on C. Are they? Oh, uh, WRC 4 and 5 are not from Milestone. Oh, wait, no. 4 is from Milestone. 5 isn't. But I thought 4 and 5 were on sale. Are they not on sale anymore? Did they delist them? When did they delist them? Because they used to be on sale on that. Oh well. Still getting dirt cheap on Unibur though. So. Damn. That sucks. Oh. They're on scene but they're not on sale. Yeah, fair enough. I get what you mean now. Fucking hell. Completely fucked back on that. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair play. Crunch. <laughs> Madness. There we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.